Hi, this is Dr. Grunch, and this is your post-op video for guidelines after having an anterior cervical discectomy infusion. The surgery is also called an ACDF. Basically, what we did during your surgery is we made an incision on the side part of your neck and went down to your spine to remove the offending discs that were causing you problems, and then we put a spacer and bone graft inside of those discs, in between those discs, in order to allow those bones to fuse together, and then we placed a plate on top that will also help your healing. The incision that you have is covered in skin glue and you can shower in 24 hours after your surgery. If I left a bandage on top, that can come off in 24 hours. And if you did have a drainage tube in place, you'll want to wait for 24 hours after that drain was removed before you take a shower. It's normal to have some swelling of the incision, but not a lot of swelling. So if you notice a lot of swelling, you need to let me know. It's also normal to have a sore throat after the surgery and even a hoarse voice. If that persists after a period of time or if you have any trouble swallowing food, you need to let my office know and we may need to call you in a steroid pack. I sent you a separate video on how to use a Aspen cervical collar. That's a hard collar that I usually use after having a fusion. And so that video will go through how to use the collar, how to apply it. And basically I want you to wear it anytime you're up and moving around, but you can take it off to eat, sleep, and shower. You'll wanna avoid doing extreme range of motion for the first few weeks. So in other words, I don't want you turning your neck all the way around. Um, just mostly keep it where it's neutral and in the neck collar. And then after you take it off, you can do range of motion that doesn't, up to the point where it doesn't seem to be painful. I typically give you a pain medicine and a muscle relaxer after the surgery. So I'll send you a separate video with details on exactly how your surgery went and what prescription I called in for you. You can use uh, heat or ice on the back part of your neck, but you'll want to avoid placing anything over your incision like heat for the first few weeks. And there's really no reason to apply anything to the front of the neck because most of the muscles that are going to hurt after the surgery are going to be these posterior neck muscles. Massage or any of those kinds of things can also help with the post-operative pain as well as the muscle relaxers and the pain medicines that I prescribe to you. We usually start physical therapy six weeks out from surgery, so we'll discuss that with you at your first post-operative visit with one of my physician assistants. You may get a phone call from a company called Inhabit Home Health. That's a home health company that will come out to your house to check on you and make sure everything's going, uh, going okay as soon as you get home from the hospital. If you had a one or two level cervical fusion, typically you'll be able to go home the day after surgery and I'll keep it for just a few hours to keep an eye on you. Some patients I do keep overnight. If you have had three or four levels of your neck fused from the front, you will stay overnight and most likely you will have a drainage tube in place that will remove on post-operative day number one or two, depending on how much fluid comes out of that drain. Restrictions after surgery, we talked about you wearing the neck collar. In addition to that, I want you to avoid any lifting of objects above your head more than 10 pounds. So that includes things like putting up dishes, um, lifting objects above your head like laundry, and really avoid from extreme physical exertion for the next few weeks. You'll wanna do that until your post-operative visit with my physician assistant, and then they can instruct you on resumption of normal activities. It's normal to have neck tension and discomfort back here, but it's not usually typical to have extreme radiating pain down one of your arms. So if you are experiencing that, please let my office know. The post-operative expectations is that typically you won't need pain medicine for more than a few days to a few weeks, and you don't typically need any pain medicine after six weeks. Medication that you'll want to avoid in this setting is any kind of anti-inflammatories. It includes ibuprofen, aspirin, and those kinds of things for at least three months after surgery. If you do take aspirin as a prophylactic blood thinner for heart cardiac disease or anything like that, you can resume that at seven days out from surgery. And we should give you instructions on how to do that. And that includes any blood thinners like Coumadin's, Ralto, or any of those other types of blood thinners that you may be taking for your heart. I think that about covers everything. If you have any questions or concerns, please call my office. And again, I'll send you a separate video giving you details on how your exact surgery went, but I wanted to cover the post-operative guidelines for what we typically do after having a cervical fusion. In addition to that, if you have had two or more levels fused, you may get a phone call from a company about wearing an external bone growth stimulator. Um, and so you, if you do get a phone call about that, that is from my office and they will give you information on how to do that. And I will also send you another video on how to use, uh, how that works and how to use that device. Um, anyway, I hope your surgery is a success 
and, and I am happy to get you on to the next stage of hopefully pain-free life.